Hi, this is Anitya. In the last video, I have set up the API app which will provide the APIs. In this video, we'll create the UI app and import the swag file from the previous app. Now, I'll open up the API app and export the swag file so that I can import in my UI app. So click on the employee API app which we have created. Go to file explorer section from the left resource panel or search for HR API underscore API. So this is the file which you have to select. So this is the Swagger file which is generated by the WaveMaker Studio. In the top right section, you will find the download button over there. Click on download. Our Swagger file will be downloaded. So now let's import the Swagger file in our UI app. Go back to project listing page. Now let's create the UI app. For doing that, click on create button over there. Choose the app. Give the project name as employee management. Give project description. And then click on OK. Click on save button. Our project employees management has been created successfully. Now let's input the Swagger file, which we have downloaded. So for doing that, go to API section from the left resource panel. And uh, in this section, you will input an API uh, section. So click on plus button over there. Here we have two ways of uploading Swagger file. Either we can use a URL or we can choose the file. So I'm choosing file and click on choose file button over there. Upload the Swagger file which you have downloaded and then click on next. So these are all the endpoints uh, for the department. For employee controller, these are all the endpoints. We can configure the endpoints as well. Let's name the service. I'm naming it as H and then click on import button. Here has been imported successfully. Now we have to provide the host name and the base path. Host name is nothing but as uh, we have seen in the last video, we have generated a URL pattern, copy the URL pattern until employees API. This will be our host name. and give the base path as services and then save it. So we have to provide the host name and the base path uh, uh, correctly. So without doing that, uh, the APIs won't work. So now let's test one of the API. So this is the API. I'm testing the CRUD uh, get API for the departments. So these are all the request params. Click on test button. So as you can see, these are the results which we got on testing the department entity. Thanks and that's it for today's video. See you in the next video.